What's going on, everybody? This is Mortem, and welcome back to this week's episode of The Autopsy, where we just talk about gaming news in general. So for this week, we're talking Watch Dogs 2, which finally got an official announcement. Uh, I binged the crap out of ESO. And lastly, I have a GTX 1080 on the way. So uh, starting out with the biggest of those news, obviously that's going to be Watch Dogs 2. It was announced, I believe it was like two days ago, and I really like what I see. So if you played the first Watch Dogs at all, you know that uh, a lot of people had a few problems with it. Mostly just that the hacking felt kind of weird, uh, the driving was a little off. Probably the biggest complaint was that Aiden Pierce was a bit of a, like, just a black hole character-wise. He was not very fun at all. And if the announcement trailer rings true at all, it would seem that Ubisoft at least listened to that feedback. Because this time, instead of the nitty-gritty streets of Chicago, we are actually going to be in San Francisco. You're going to be playing Marcus Holloway, who is actually a victim of all of those uh, ga da data gathering attempts that Bloom was making in the original Watch Dogs 2 to use uh, for things like crime prevention and stuff like that. Uh, he was a victim of that, so his way of fighting back was to join DeadSec, which is the hacker group from the first one. Uh, as opposed to Aiden Pierce, uh, it would appear that Marcus has some actual character. As I haven't seen anything where he's actually been like talking or anything yet, so who knows how it's actually going to play out. But they've given him the appearance of having more character, at least, with uh, more vibrant colors, things like that. Uh, he does kind of a parkour movement style, uh, similar to Assassin's Creed, instead of Aiden's Pierce, more like clunky running kind of thing. Uh, there's going to be drones, stuff like that. Uh, anything else, I'm going to put in the, uh, a link below to the actual trailer so you can check it out for yourself. I was pretty impressed. Uh, I really enjoyed Watch Dogs. I had a few problems with it like everybody else, but I thought for a new IP, it was a really an amazing game. And because of that, I'm absolutely excited for Watch Dogs 2. All aboard the hype train. Deal with it. Now, uh, secondly, um, if you've been watching my channel a lot lately, you know I went on an ESO binge pretty hard with the Dark Brotherhood. I put in probably like 120 hours this past week. And uh, some of that was build videos. I tried to put out a lot of content for you guys. I felt there was a lot of it. And as a result of that, I kind of wanted to say that in the future, I think I'm planning on playing ESO a lot more and more consistently and making build videos for it. So I hope you're excited for that because I am and it's happening. And lastly, a bit of personal news that again I am excited for. I managed to get a GTX 1080 ordered. It, because they are so incredibly backlogged, it won't be here until about the uh, end of the month, the 20th to the 25th range. So it's going to be a little while before I get to actually use it and get it all set up. But when it arrives, I'll make a video about that and everything. I'm very excited for the card. It is just the reference design. but. That's personally because I've never had a problem with graphics cards overheating on me or anything like that. Now, if it becomes a problem, I'll just get rid of the plastic fan blower and everything else. I'll replace it with a water block and run a custom water loop because I have the know-how to do that. It's just a huge pain and I hate doing it. But if that became the problem, I wouldn't want to spend a few just more money on a card with better fans and stuff when I have the knowledge to just get it water cooled myself, which is the best option anyway. So, uh, with all that said, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this week's gaming news. Uh, I'm, stuff I'm pretty excited about. I'd love to hear what you guys think about it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you subscribe if this is the first video you see. Have a great day other than that.